Hello and welcome to yet another problem on formulation of linear problem. So, as usual, I'll flash, I'll flash the problem first here. We'll read it and then we'll try to go about it. So, the problem is an advertising company wishes to plan its advertising strategy in three different media television, radio, and magazines. The purpose of advertising is to reach as large a number of potential customers as possible. Following data has been obtained from market survey. Now here we have a table that gives us cost of advertising, a unit, number of potential customers reached per unit and number of female customers reached per unit. And then we have four different media vehicles, television, radio, magazine and magazine 1 and magazine 2. If we have a look at this combination, number of potential customers reached through magazine 2 are 1 lakh, number of female customers reached through radio are 4 lakh, through magazine 1 are 70,000 and so on. So this table can be interpreted very easily. Then now there are certain conditions that we need to fulfill. Those conditions are the company wants to spend not more than 4 lakh 50,000 on advertising. So total budget whatever you spend you will be spending on television, radio, magazine 1 and magazine 2. So the total budget should not exceed 4 lakh 50,000. I am not sure how much I will be spending but I will be putting n number of units in television, n number of units in radio and total of those units should not exceed 4 lakh 50,000 at least 1 million exposures, 1 million exposures makes it 10 lakhs, 10 lakh. At least 1 million exposures take place among female customers. So when you put, let us say A, B, C and D units over television, radio, magazine 1 and magazine 2. So you will get exposures 1.5 lakh into A, 4 lakh into B, 70,000 into C and so on. We will see when we will solve it. So in any case, the total female exposure should be at least 1 million. Advertising on magazines must be limited to 1.5 lakh. You cannot spend more than that. At least 3 advertising units to be bought from magazine 1 and 2 from magazine 2. The number of advertising units on television and radio should each be between 5 and 10. Formulate an LP model. So this is a big problem. As we have gone through these numbers and because it is a detailed question, lot of constraints are given outside the table also. So one thing we will we'll do is we will make the table over here and then we will proceed over, over the question. The table consists of cost of advertising. I will put it in short. You can refer the original one. Then additional information we have been given, we will look after it. The company wants to spend not more than 4.5 lakh on advertising. So how much will I be spending on advertising? I am not sure. Suppose I buy A units of television, B units of radio, C units of magazine 1 and D units of magazine 2. So how much will I total be spending? I will spending, I will be spending 30,000 into A plus 20,000 into B plus 15,000 times C, 10,000 times D. This should be less than or equal to 4.5 lakh because there is a constraint. Then what are the other constraints related to females, related to number of units to be placed in magazine 1, magazine 2, radio etc. Now what is the objective function? When you are going for advertising, what is your objective? Is your objective to spend less or get more mileage, more exposures rather instead of mileage it should be exposures. Is your objective to get more exposures or your objective is to spend less on advertising? I believe it should be more exposures. When I go for advertising, I want more and more people to watch my ad. 
So what will be the objective function in this case? We will again once again start with our third step. What will be the objective function? I want maximum number of exposures. Yes, with certain constraints of female exposures or different media vehicle exposures, but maximum number of total exposures. So total number of maximum exposures would be uh, 2 lakh. If I put A units, I will get 2 lakh times A. Suppose if I put 1 unit, I will get 2 lakh exposures. If I put 2 units, I will get 4 lakh exposures. If I put 6 units, I will get 12 lakh exposures. So total exposures would be 2 lakh times A. Then 6 lakh times B. Then 1.5 lakh times C. And then finally we have 1 lakh times D and these should be maximum. So here is our objective function. I want maximum number of exposures. Yes, I will be spending less than 4.5 lakhs but I want my exposures to be maximum. So that 4.5 lakh becomes our first constraint. I want to optimize these subject to whatever I am spending on advertising. What am I spending? 30,000 A plus 20,000 B plus 15,000 on C units. So total I am spending. 15,000 C, then I am also spending something on last magazine that is 10,000 times D. This should be less than 4.5 lakh. If you go through the problem, they are saying that this expenditure should be less than 4.5 lakh. Spend not more than. So, this all should be less than 4.5 lack. This is a constraint. Then there are certain other constraints like 1 million female exposures. These are the total female exposures. So how do we formulate it? From A units I will be getting 1.5 times A. Suppose I put 3 units of advertising over here. So I will be getting 4.5 lakh exposures. So my total female exposures would be 1 lakh 50,000 A plus 4 lakh times B plus 70,000 C plus 50,000 D or all these should be more than 1 lakh. I need at least 1 million exposures. At least 1 million means at least you need to have 1 million. You can have more than that. So this has to be more than or at most equal to 1 million that is 10 lakh exposures. So this becomes our another constraint at least 1 million exposures to take place among female customers then there is advertising on magazines to be limited to 1.5 lakh. What am I spending on magazines? This is the amount I am spending on magazines. What is it? 15,000 on first magazine, 10,000 on second magazine. This should be restricted to 1.5 lakh. Whatever you are spending on this, I am not sure what many units you are spending in shape of C and D, but all this expenditure should be less than 1.5. This should be less than 1 lakh 50. Thousand. Then we have a constraint about at least 3 advertising units to be bought on magazine 1 and 2 to be bought on magazine 2. At least 3 units to be bought on magazine 1. So C should be more than or equal to 3 and D should be more than or equal to 
2. There is a constraint that you have to put at least 3 units, 3 ads in first magazine, 2 units in second. At least you can put more, nobody is stopping you, but you cannot go under 3. At most you can go down to 3, but you preferably should be above 3, D should be greater than 2, at most it can dip down to 2, but it has to be more than or equal to 2. Similarly, C is to be more than or equal to 3. So, at least 3 units to be bought from magazine 1 and 2 units to be bought from magazine 2. The number of advertising units on television and radio should reach between 5 and 10. Number of advertising units on radio and television should reach between 5 and 10. So, A should be more than or equal to 5, less than or equal to 10. Similarly, B also should be restricted between 5 and 10. So, B should be less than or equal to 5, sorry, greater than or equal to 5 and 10. So, we have our objective function, we have certain constraints, this time we have a lot of constraints. In earlier problems, we were having only 2 or 3 constraints, this time we have lot of constraints. And then last one is physical constraint, that is number of units in A, B, C and D should be more than or equal to 0. And what are these A, B, C and D? Let us declare them. First one is Z, what is Z? Total advertising expenses, what are A, B, C and D, A, B, C and D are number of ad units bought on television, number of ad units bought on radio, number of ad units bought on magazine 1, number of ad units bought on magazine 2. So, this is our formulation. You can see that this formulation was a bit lengthy one, bit more information was given regarding the problem which we had to formulate. We will keep on advancing on these problems, we will take up some more complex formulations in the videos to come. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for those updates about those videos. And yes, do like and comment so that we can improve upon our lectures. We can take up new topics, new problems that you are suggesting. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.